G'day guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com where we look at men's boots and uh, apparel that's built to last. Uh, I'm here in the wild suburbs of New Jersey with JD Sasser. Uh, thanks for having me. Hi Nick, nice to see you again, buddy. Hi. I'm here with JD, he's JD Sasser on Instagram. Give him a follow because he is the king of all things Alden, which is a shoe company founded in 18, I want to say 84? 1884. In New England. Where is it? Is it Massachusetts? Massachusetts. And uh, they've just been making really high quality footwear for a really long time. Indiana Jones wears these boots in his movies, but we're not here talking about that today, nor are we talking about how JD came to have such a fanatical obsession with the brand. That is another video, the best Alden boots. It's up here because I imagine I published it by now. JD is such a collector of Aldens, he has a vast range of Alden boots. And I thought it would be cool to look at the rarest Alden boots, the ones that are the hardest to find. If you are a collector yourself, uh, this is the video you've been looking for. Right. JD, what are, what are the best, the rarest Alden boots? It's a tough game, the Alden special makeup world, because they make so few. If you're very lucky to get on a list, and let's say the boot comes in, and you know, these are all handmade boots. Certain boots fit a little bit different, and that boot doesn't fit exactly right, you're out of luck. It's not like they have another size floating around. So I feel very lucky that I was able to get some of these. This is color four shell cordovan, which until this year was extremely hard to get. I've never had a color four shell cordovan. Shell cordovan, by the way, it's made from the, the membrane at the base of a horse's tail. A whole horse, you're gonna get like this much leather. Uh, it's very expensive, but it, it, it basically doesn't age or wrinkle or anything. Yeah. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. <laughs> so people be like, look, what is so colorful? This is like a nice, like a light. Brand, this is I basically, I think the way it works is they use half the dye as color eight. That's why mm. they call it color four. Okay. So this is the color eight burgundy. Yeah. And this is the color four. So it's become a little bit easier to get the past year and a half, but it, but until then it was very difficult. So this is a beautiful plain toe boot that shows the shell in such a gorgeous light. This was very hard to get. Really lucky to get on this one. How did you get it? If you think I'm into the Alden game, have some friends out there on the Instagramosphere who uh, put me to shame. Their collection makes mine look like nothing. Nearly That's very cool. Color factors. four. I never heard of that. Color four. All right. What's the next one? This is a Ravello shell cordovan. What does that mean? So Ravello is. <laughs> it's hard to describe the color because the 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 Ravello the shade of Ravello has changed over the years. But Ravello is like a medium brown. That's what they call about their the medium brown kind of hard to get on the spectrum. It's a it's an exotic color. So here it is on a hand-sewn Norwegian split toe boot, which has been made in the past on the Aberdeen last. Another retailer did it on the Barry last like this. I wasn't able to get it. it took me a while to get myself on a list, but I'm really happy to have this one. How did you get it? I had a relationship with a retailer and I, I heard that he was doing it. It's not impossible. It's just building relationships and it's having friends who are in this crazy shoe game who can tell you, I've heard that so-and-so got an allocation of Ravello leather and they may be doing a boot. So if you have a relationship with them, you might want to talk to them. What's the next one? This is from Leather Soul in Hawaii. So they did an indie, they call this the vintage indie. Mm -hmm. They say this is supposed to be the best representation of what the indie looked like on screen when Harrison Ford wore it. Because his boots were so beat up? Yeah. Okay. So this is a tan, uh, sorry, this is a smooth tobacco chamois. So it's like the underside of this reverse tobacco chamois. Okay, meaning it's sheep leather. I don't think this is sheep. I, I think they just use the word, like for example, Alden puts out a boot in kudu, mm -hmm. a kudu leather. It's not real kudu, it's not antelope leather. They just call it, it's a heavily oiled chrome excel. They call it kudu. I think that's the same with the chamois. Okay. It's not real chamois. How Don't do quote me on it. I just think that. <laughs> You're in a video, JV. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quote me on it. So this is very, very waxy. Yeah. Is very that basically waxy. how they make this look so vintage and uh, I think video? so. Yeah. All right, cool. Very cool. All so right. That, that's a good one. Yeah. Did you go to Hawaii to get these? Uh, they shipped them for a nice price. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorites. This is the reverse tobacco chamois. I just love this boot because it has all eyelets, so it's a little bit dressier. It's got the wingtip pattern. It's got the 360 degree welt, so it's nice and clean. And it has the commando sole and the tobacco chamois, reverse tobacco chamois, which is really water resistant. So I just love everything about this boot. This is from Lafoe in New York City. Aha, uh -huh, right. So That's where I got my first pair of Alden's. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Steven's got a great shop and I begged and begged him to run these again. 
because he hadn't run them probably in about 10 years. Mm -hmm. So he ran them again this year. So very happy to finally have, I waited literally 10 years to get my hands on this booth. <laughs> 10 years. If I had to pick a number one, this has got to be it. All right. Color eight, Shell Cordovan Indie Boot. Is that really hard to find? A Cordovan Indie? It's not that hard, but this makeup is special for a couple of reasons. So a lot of retail, it's not a stock model. Color eight, Shell Cordovan Indie is not a stock model, but pretty much everybody runs it with their own twist, right? Some people will do it with all eyelets. Some people will do it with a 270 welt like this. Some people will do it with a three, 360 welt. Some people will do commando soles. Some people will do plantation crepe soles. So there's numerous combinations. This is the one I have found that I love the most. This is from Brogue in California. He did it with a 270 welt, dark edges. Everybody's been doing color eight shell cordovan with light edges these days, right? Like that. Okay. So it has a high contrast. Right. I finally went back to the dark edges. I think it looks really sharp. It has a double water lock sole. So this is extremely comfortable from the get go. Who knows if I'll run it again, but that's my favorite special makeup. All right, cool. The rarest, most exclusive, most exciting Olden boots. I love it. All right, well, look, let us know in the comments below if you've got any uh, weird one of Olden's as well. I imagine if you clicked on this video, there's a decent chance you do because. Boy, is this a niche video. JD has written a few articles uh, on Starbucks.com. I put them in the description below on uh, why he loves Alden so much and also an interview with Alden Madison in New York City. That's a pretty cool interview. Just check him out. And otherwise, make sure you follow him on Instagram, JD Sasso, for more Alden goodness. Uh, and oh, subscribe here as well if he's kind of wound up on this video because we got a little more boot content and uh, other, yeah, heritage apparel stuff coming up. Thank you for showing us this uh, very exclusive rare collection. I'm going to publicize your address so someone can steal it from you and I will not feel so bad about uh you having such a great collection and I not. But you have plenty in storage that I can uh, claw back if, uh, if you get your hands on any of these, so. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it. That's the whole video. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure you let us know uh, what cool rare old ends you'd like to have yourself.